Welcome again to Slice XR. This is Catherine Oaks, your host. Discoverability in Horizon Worlds is far less automated than on the internet. Human guides shape your experience instead of algorithms, cohorts, and the indexing of vast amounts of personal data. This is going to change drastically over the next five years, but for now, the metaverse is a meritocracy where creators showcase each other's work through cross-linking and through cross-promotion. Once you become acclimated to living in a 3D environment, you will understand how Horizon World is a place for real-time experiences, conversations, and collaboration. Fact is, the most interesting experiences in the metaverse are not searchable. Moving between worlds is gamified, and portals to new worlds are found within curated hubs. Many metaverse events are like raves. You need an invitation to the party. For example, you meet a guide in the public world at a set time, a crowd gathers at a waypoint, and you're led to a new world to participate in activities that run the gamut from wholesale to illicit. As far as I'm concerned, the best jumping off point is called More Doors, Hub of Hubs. When you first arrive there, you're greeted by a placard that reads the following. Three hubs for Horizon Groups to gather social creatures. Seven for social influencers who will leave YouTube houses. Nine for builder artisans doomed never to be featured. One door for the plaza on the Meta Throne. Enter the land of more doors, where the hub portals lie, one hub to gather them all, so Horizonites can find them. One hub of hubs to draw players, or two hubs of those who design them. Enter the land of more doors, where hub portals lie. You got to love that. And why do you get to love that? Because this is exactly the type of experiences that you are going to get in the metaverse. Because LiceXR is dedicated to business in the metaverse, I will leave the reviews of 3D games to other channels. Instead, what we are going to do is be your tour guide and take you to some of our favorite worlds. One of my goals is to make you more comfortable acting as an avatar in a 3D environment, as well as get excited about all the possibilities that are right there in front of you as an individual, but also as a business. Let's go check Wendy's out today, Caitlin. I've never been to Wendy's, have you? I love some of the branding here, founded in 1969, that's cool. Okay. So go check this fountain here. I like the way we put the drinks here. That's nice. And the restaurant, oh my god, it looks like a real Wendy restaurant in the real world. All right, let's free nugget so we can win something. I like the way they've done their wall here, the, the coffee wall. Let's see if there's anything interactive. And do you want a burger? Oh yes. Oh what? <laughs> want a drink? <laughs> Let's want a drink. All right, everybody, there are things you can pick up in the metaverse. You can pick up and interact, and a lot of places have actual games where, you know, it's fully interactive, which is not the case. You can see some elements are not movable. They are just here for decoration. So it gives an idea of things you can do in your own metaverse. You can really create a, a real store with tables and chairs and a lot of different information and interaction. Uh, Really, the world is open. There's nothing that you probably cannot do. You just have to imagine it. And then we design it for you. Right, Caitlin? Absolutely. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, let's continue our little tour of the Wendyverse here. Oh, here we go. That's fun. Just nice to have this open space. Relax. Imagine being in bathing suit there. Oh, I didn't see that big structure at the top of the. Okay, let's go check the other one. Okay. We're just going to tour around and show you what can be done in the metaverse to give you some ideas as to what you could do for your own business or for your retail store, if you have a retail store, or with any type of business, as a matter of fact, because just about anything is possible. So here we are at Wendyverse, and I wanted to show you Wendyverse because Wendy has spent some good amount of time developing amazing experiences for their clients. So let's tour through. So we're gonna go into the back biscuit dome. Let's get down. can see Wendy, they really want to offer a very unique journey. They are games. We're reaching a basketball game. In fact, in a basketball game, you could invite your employees there, or you could invite some key stakeholders, or you could, could invite some clients and create some type of a contest, gaming contest. Oh, close. Okay, let me go back there. So, you know how everybody likes to dip their fries in the frosty, right? Yeah. So, you throw the fries in the frosty. Throw it. Oh, that's what you do. Yeah. Okay. Except you're supposed to get it in the vanilla ones. Oh, okay. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> I think it's too far. Oh, yay! yay. <laughs> really has to be done in the middle. I love the way, look at the outside here. That's really nice. We feel like we're really inside the store looking outside to the world. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. It feels real. We did good a good job. job. Good job, Wendy's. But I like the way they've done there. The cities with caps. That's nice. It's very creative. Well, we're going to show you a really cool world. It's called Timor's Dragon Villa. And we love this world because there's a lot of interactivity here. Lots of games, lots of interaction. You can also see some animation that they've created with fish flying, with clouds. And you see a dragon in the back there that's uh, moving his wings, ready to fly. So just to give you an idea as to the level of sophistication that you can give to a world, including music. You can hear the music in the background, which is very soothing. So follow me around. I'm going to give you a tour. All right. So one thing I wanted to show you here, also look at the lights. You can create lighting in the metaverse and you can create one lighting that comes on just when you go next to it or you pass underneath it. So that's a cool feature. And then look at this fireplace. I love that. You can we can write scripts to to create fire like that. That's a great example here as well. Okay, so let's look at this one here. I tried it a little bit before, and I think it's your little pet. You can just pick your little pet here, and he's gonna follow you, right? So let's let's move around. You're gonna see my little pet is follow me. He sounds like a cat, so I don't know. It doesn't look like a cat. It sounds like a cat. You see him follow me. He, Mm -hmm. That's fun. So many games that you can come up with. It's just a matter of imagining them, and then almost anything can, can be created. All right, that's one interaction. Let's go and look at this one here. That's where gamification uh, come to place. I think your people who come to see you, they like to be entertained. The metaverse is a lot about entertainment, so you can create games like that. So this one here, you can see I can pick up the controller here, and this one is to control the big cloud, so I'm going to push it up, and you can see I'm at the point where I want the cloud to fly to, come down, so it's a fun game. 
Yeah, bye bye. See you later. Hopefully, I'll come back alive. dreamt of flying there you go you can do it in the metaverse now so you can jump off the cloud and go in the cave and go see what's in there oh. Oh. <laughs> much in the cave but that monster tried to scare me So there's a whole little hot tub up here. Yeah. And put the bracelet on. Very cool. Oh, what's it up? Alright, nice. Okay, you guys, well, hopefully that gives you a good idea, give you some ideas anyway, as to what you could do for your business, or for your venues, or whatever you want to market uh, or attract people to the game. So much fun. And after you've tried some of our selections, go back and jump back into more doors, hub of hubs, and you can there peruse through dozens of portals. You may find your experiences and interaction a little uncomfortable at first. So let me give you a slice power tip. Go to your app explorer, and download an app called TRIP. This is an app that will guide you through meditation and breathing exercises that will for sure put you in the right state of mind. If your ambition is to develop worlds yourself or to subcontract it to an agency like Slice Marketing, Meta, the company, has earmarked $10 million toward creative education and community building. But as we've mentioned before, the support within the developer and early adopter communities has the same new frontier feel that the early 90s internet had. And as I'm sure everything in life is about timing and your opportunity to distinguish yourself and take advantage of Meta subsidizing your efforts is now and only now. I would love to speak with you. Slice is the only global agency that has gone full speed, completely immersed in the metaverse and in developing a presence for brands in that immersive, wonderful, exciting space. We build crystal clear messages that resonate with your audience in and outside the metaverse. So don't go it alone. Partner with us and claim your slice of the metaverse today. Now is the time. And remember the slice mantra. First to market, first to succeed. See you all later. And remember to sign up and register and subscribe to everything we do and especially to our YouTube channel. Thank you.